Seventy percent of American adults are either overweight or clinically obese, according to the Food and Drug Administration. As CBS 12's Danny Travis found out, new research shows semaglutide injections like Ozempic and Wagovi, which help you lose pounds, also help prevent heart and kidney disease. She joins us live now in the studio with more on her investigation into the health impacts of these drugs. Danny. Yeah, Danielle, Sam, well, we know this drug can treat diabetes and obesity, but you guys, last month the FDA approved Wagovi for heart disease prevention, and now we're learning the same treatment can contribute to lowering the risk of kidney disease, which the CDC says impacted about 37 million people last year. We all learned in school your body is one big connected machine. And when one part of it isn't running right, carrying too much weight, for instance, the whole system can break down. This and high blood pressure and diabetes can be particularly hard on your kidneys. So if we can take care of the underlying cause, like if it's obesity or it's diabetes or taking care of high blood pressure, we know eventually that is going to help. The the kidney disease. The American Kidney Fund reports diabetes is the leading cause of kidney failure in the United States. Dr. Abyss Rabi, a nephrologist in Palm Beach Gardens, says semaglutide injections can help lower those numbers. Basically, hyperfiltration of the kidney slowing down, and then also we don't see that much protein in the urine. And those are the things tells me that uh, the medicine is doing a good job and, and is uh, helping them. Obesity by itself can cause kidney disease. So if we can decrease the obesity, we basically targeting the, the kidney disease and heart disease. Which, as you just heard, is the same principle for preventing heart disease. This means losing weight also reduces high blood pressure, insulin resistance, and cholesterol issues. Cleveland Clinic research conducted last year found that semaglutide reduced cardiovascular events by 20% in overweight adults who don't have diabetes. Semaglutide is, and that class of medications are a fantastic tool um, for cardiovascular health because it actually treats the um, crux of the issue, the basics of the issue, which is um, obesity and um, that's what is leading to all these other issues. Like Dr. Khan, a cardiologist at Delray Medical Center, warns patients still need to get plenty of exercise along with these injections to prevent loss of muscle along with the fat. When we lose muscle, we call it sarcopenia, and it's a big deal. Um, because if I have a patient who loses weight but at the same time loses muscle, then I don't know if I've actually helped the patient. Overall, Dr. Khan says these revolutionary weight loss medications are making a difference for his cardiology patients. We check blood work every three months and we're seeing the cholesterol levels come down, we're seeing the blood pressure come down, and so you know, around the six to nine month mark, they're basically a transformed person. So as you just heard, we're seeing all of these positive side effects from these drugs. And you guys, it's really been kind of amazing to explore. Yeah, Danny, it does seem like every few weeks we're finding something else these drugs do that are, you know, are helping people. Is there anything else like that right now that we know about? Yeah, Sam, absolutely. As a matter of fact, there's some recent research indicating that semaglutide injections could possibly help treat sleep apnea, which, as you always hear about, is those bulky masks that attach to your face at night so you don't stop breathing, right? Well, sleep apnea comes with a whole host of problems, and snoring is actually the least of it, apparently. Now, patients also have high rates of type 2 diabetes, obesity, stroke, and heart failure. And you guys, that kind of sounds familiar, right? Dr. Kahan says there's never really been a good treatment for sleep apnea except surgery or a CPAP machine. So that could possibly be a big win here in the future. And next half hour, we'll actually be talking about how these drugs can help fertility. So stick around.